This is a quick tutorial on the Easy Audio Rental Liberty Audio Speaker Package. My name's James out here in beautiful Olathe, Kansas. Do you figure out where your speakers are going to stand in your area? This is the first step. Loosen this knob here, grab two of the legs, pull them out gently. It'll widen out pretty wide. The top adjuster. Tighten it back down. Don't have to crank too hard, you can break this. It'll move if, it, um, if it's not tight enough. Same with the other one, you notice the different colors. This one has a smaller top. The speaker on the companion speaker has a smaller base. This has a thicker base underneath there. Just simply slide the speaker on top of that stand once you know where you want to stay it. The front of the speakers are clean, they look good. Note the antennas that are sticking out of the top. That's for the two wireless mics. Got mic one, note the tape. Mic two, auxiliary cord, note the tape. Music or project. Music is when you're listening to music. Project boosts the vocals for you. It's a little internal EQ. Uh, this power cord does not need to be hooked up on this unit. The directions are right here as far as if the battery is charged fully or not. Simply turn it on, working our way up to hook up our other speaker. Actually turn it off. Got a white piece of tape there. White piece of tape there. This is a speaker jack, not a signal wire for a keyboard or a guitar. It's not the same type of wire. It's not going to give you the same type of signal. You don't want to get that confused. That's what the tape is for. Again, you don't need to plug this in unless you want to. It can run off the battery solely, or you can plug it in if you have shore power and you're not, not worried about anything. Speaker's ready to go. Uh, we'll start here at the top and work our way down. Note this blue. Your light is on. It turns the light on the microphone and you want to be a little bit away from the speaker because it's going to squelch if you're too close. You'll hear it. It'll squeal at you. Check one, two. Check. Simply use the switch on the bass. The other microphone's a little bit different. It has a mute feature. This has the bass unscrewed. Gently plug in your 9 volt battery. You have an off on switch and a mute. Pretty standard. Uh, when you're not using something, turn it down. It'll limit your static and interference. If you have a wired microphone, it'll have a green piece of tape on it. It slides in. This is a keeper. It's a two man, two hand operation to get the connection out of here because this will hold it in tight because it's going to be hanging down and you don't want to destroy it. I've had a customer completely pull the connection from the wire and then he had to replace it. Luckily that was after the event. Yellow piece of tape there. The long end goes inside the auxiliary. The other end is going to go into your device. Something like this. Possibly if you just want to play a song or two during the while somebody's walking down the aisle. When you plug this in, make sure if you have a case that you remove the case because it doesn't always just snap in like that. Typically when you plug this in, the music that you're playing will pause or mute. Uh, that's kind of an Apple thing. But this connection will plug into any laptop, tablet, whatever you have your music stored to. Lots of times people use Pandora or Spotify apps to play the music for that type of ceremony. That's it for the units. Speaker stand. You see this one's already put together. I like to put them in people's cars like this, separated, because it wobbles around as you turn. Simply screw it in at the top. Put your microphone in there. If you need it, we'll supply power or a surge protector. We always give you a bag to help you carry. You're going to have several trips. A couple of tips with us. 
Uh, we do typically 24 to 48 hour rentals. They're by event, which means if you're going to use it on Saturday for your ceremony, I understand you're not going to want to ditch your husband or wife brand new and run this equipment back to us. So we'll do our best to schedule things. If you need a day or two, there's a nominal fee for a day or two extra. We don't charge half rental fees for extra days like most places. Uh, it does require a deposit of cash or check. It's totally refundable as long as the equipment comes back the way that it left. We'll do an inventory list together and I'll show you this um, when you pick it up so you're confident. A lot of customers like to videotape when I show them so they can show other people if someone else is going to hook it up. But we're here to help. Really quick, if you're setting up my stick figure drawings, this is your new husband and wife, and these are the chairs. The manufacturer recommends that you put one speaker on the side, and I would put the speaker with all the connections on here so you can wire to your keyboardist and your guitarist, and then you can go wireless from here or wired to the speaker. And then if you have somebody speaking that's holding a book, you can do wired or wireless. This tends to get in the way of things, um, I would recommend a wireless mic from there to there, but you know your place uh, better than I do. If you have a single speaker, you can run the whole thing just like that. Everybody will hear it probably just fine. The second speaker is very handy because you want people to hear your vows if you're going to be speaking. I don't recommend putting a lavalier mic on him or her because it's um, about this size and it doesn't really fit in your dress. Give us a call if you think we can help.